Hi everyone, today unfortunately not a pleasant message. The title down below is not a mistake. I have been asked to take down the tutorials on Tommy's music. Now before everyone jumps up and attacks the YouTube copyright system, that isn't a problem here. It might be far from perfect, but so far the YouTube ID content system hasn't filed any strikes or claims on the tutorial videos. But with the channel slowly creeping towards 10,000 subscribers, I started thinking more about the future of the channel and how I could keep it going without running into trouble. At the same time, I found myself struggling more and more with the same question. Would Tommy approve of what I'm doing? So I decided to go for the most obvious approach possible. Get in touch with Tommy's team and see if I could keep doing the tutorials in the current format. It might seem as if I'm sinking my own ship by doing this, but the immense respect I hold for Tommy and his work started making for a gut feeling that was getting hard to ignore. I had two main concerns. Is my current format legal? And could this series of tutorials carry a negative impact on Tommy's business? It may seem arrogant to think that a channel that hasn't even broken 10,000 subs would be a threat to a juggernaut like Tommy, but the principle behind the question didn't let me go anymore. And my concerns, both of them turned out to be justified. Tommy's manager got back to me and in a very friendly and supportive message let me know that I couldn't carry on doing what I have been doing for the last year and that I had to take down the tutorial videos of Tommy's original music. The main issue is, as you probably guessed, the use of tablature in the videos. This has to be licensed in order to be used in videos, something that turns out to be almost impossible on YouTube. Tommy's own management even advised me against even inquiring about doing this since the rates of Universal, who hold the rights to the music, are simply way too high to even consider. So the videos will come down this weekend. I'm still looking at how I can re-upload them uh, because simply removing all the tabs and putting the videos back online without them won't resolve the issue completely. Tommy's management also saw the channel as being potentially disruptive to his own teaching courses. After all, a lot of people would reconsider paying for tuition even if it is done by Tommy himself if someone else is explaining it all for free. I'm still in the process of clearing out the details with Tommy's team, but I'm hoping for permission to re-upload small parts or sections of each tutorial and then keep the full version on Patreon. Teaching in a private setting is luckily not forbidden, so Patreon will become much more important to the channel than it already was. And perhaps, who knows, maybe I can find a, a partner, something like Sheet Music Plus or Music Notes to sell the tab and notation files that go along with each lesson, since they pay the original artist their fair share of the proceedings. Again, it might seem as if I have sunken my own ship, but I see this more as an obstacle that had to be expected along the way. And frankly, although the outcome isn't what I had hoped, it does feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I've come to see the fingerstyle community here on YouTube as being a thousandfold more positive and supportive than anything I could have dreamed of when I put my first uh, acoustic tutorial online. And I think most of you will probably agree that in such a small community where I see the same names popping up on all the different channels, being respectful and not sabotaging other people's work is very important. And the timing could be worse. A huge amount of time goes into each one of these tutorials and I would have been devastated to be called upon in a few years to take everything down. Right now, removing all the tabs and re-uploading some shorter clips will already take a huge amount of time, but imagine if I was asked to do this in three or four years time, it simply wouldn't have been doable anymore to redo that amount of content. 
this isn't the end of the line by any means. I've enjoyed my time with all of you way too much for that, but I will definitely miss all your comments on the tutorial videos, letting me know that you have gotten a tune down using the lesson. Give me a bit of time to reshape a few things and before you know it, we'll get things on track again. If you want to support me during this transition, then please head over to Patreon. I can still offer all of the tutorials there since I'll be focusing on reshaping the freely available YouTube content first. I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.